So the first technique, what you would do is you'd make a little table like this. You'd say, if x is zero, okay, zero times anything is zero, so I'm covering that up. If I divide by negative two, you can see that y would be negative six. So that's the y-intercept. Now we're just treating this like a line temporarily. I'm just treating this like an equal sign. Now if we set y to zero, okay, zero times anything is zero, so I'm gonna cover that up. And if we divide both sides by three, you can see that x is four. So that's the x-intercept. So if we plot those points, x-intercept is here at four, the y-intercept is down here at negative six, it's greater than or equal to, equal to means it's gonna be a solid line. If it was greater than but not equal to, it would be a dotted line, okay, or a dashed line, meaning it doesn't include the points on the line. And then what you wanna do is you wanna pick a test point, either on this side of the plane or this side of the plane, okay, you know, this side of the line or this side of the line. Now, a good point to pick is the origin, zero, zero. So if I put in zero in for x and zero in for y, okay, that's this point right here, zero, zero. This is gonna be zero minus zero, which is zero, and is 0 greater than or equal to 12, question mark? Well, 0 is not greater than or equal to 12, so that means this region over here is false. We want to shade on the other side of the line. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to shade. And what this represents is a set of solutions. Any point here, if you pick any coordinate, like say 10, negative 1, if you put 10 in for x and negative, in for, negative 1 in for y, this is going to be greater than or equal to 12. It's going to make the inequality true. Okay, let's look at example number 2. So in this form, this is the slope-intercept form. So the number in front of the x here is the slope. This number over here by itself, the constant, is the y-intercept where it crosses the y-axis. And uh, what we're going to do now is graph using the slope-intercept form. So this is going to be crossing at 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 right here. It has a slope of 2, so we're going to go rise 2, run 1. Okay, and you can repeat that, rise 2, run 1. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to draw a line. It's a solid line, okay, like that. And because the y is by itself, the y controls the vertical direction, up and down, right? X controls left and right. So if the y's are greater than this quantity, that means that we're shading greater than we're shading above. So what I would do is pick any point on the line, greater than you're shading above, less than you would shade straight down like this. So I'm just shading straight up like this, greater than. And so this is the region here that we want. So any point in this region, if you pick the coordinate of that point and put it in for x and y, it will make this inequality true. Now, sometimes what students will do is they'll say, well, can't I just write this equation like this? Well, definitely, you can certainly do that. All you would have to do is solve for y. And the main thing to uh, watch out for when you're working with inequalities is if you multiply or divide by a negative number, what happens to this inequality sign? It changes direction. And you wanna pay attention to that because, here I'll show you, 3x minus 2y is greater than or equal to 12. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides, okay? So that comes out to negative 2y is greater than or equal to negative 3x plus 12. I'm going to divide everything by negative 2, left and right sides. When I do that, this inequality sign changes direction, and now we have y is less than or equal to 3 halves x minus 6. Now at first glance, you might see this greater than or equal to and say, well, Mario, how come I'm not shading above this line, right? Well, you can see here, when you get the y by itself, well, the y values are less than, right, less than or equal to the points on this line. So two different methods, the test point method or just using the slope-intercept form, you can graph the inequality. So if you enjoy these type of videos and you want to support Mario's Math Tutoring, check out my Patreon page. Uh, I've got a number of different uh, levels there that you can check out if you're interested. I'll have a link for that. And subscribe to the channel. Check out more math tutoring videos on Mario's Math Tutoring YouTube channel. And I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.